barbarian. I'm just going to put a blood pressure cuff on. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Okay. I can't move my arm. You can't move your arm? And how long has that been? Oh, here's the doctor to see you. Hi, I'm Dr. Goldstein. Tell me what brings you in today, ma'am. I can't move my arm. How long has that been going on? I don't know, sweetie. What time do you think this all started? It started about 8 a.m. or something like that. When the, when the kids started coming in, she was checking them in. So it was about that time, I think. It's a really weird thing. I was checking off their, the kids coming into the class, and I had a pair of scissors in my right hand, and I dropped it. Uh, any allergies to any medications? Penicillin. Penicillin. OK. Do you mind just lifting up your hands for me? Both hands up in the air. Okay, can you move that hand at all? Can't move it at all. Okay. Do you think I had a stroke? Um, so, you might have had a stroke. I think you came to the right place and we're gonna do a bunch of tests for you. Nurse, do you mind doing uh, some labs on her? CBC, Chem 7, uh, coags. Uh, call the scanner and we'll get her over for a head CT. Could you please uh, call the uh, acute stroke team at Partners Telestroke? Hi, it's, uh, it's Dr. Silverman from the stroke team returning a page. Okay, why don't we activate the uh, telestroke system and we'll go from there. Hi, Dr. Goldstein. I'm Dr. Silverman, the Acute Stroke Fellow. I'm here with Dr. Schwamm. Uh, we just wanted to, to start the telestroke consultation. That sounds great. Thank you very much for uh, calling. So I have a, a very nice 62-year-old lady here. At 8 o'clock this morning, that's a known witness time of onset, she developed right arm uh, numbness and weakness and her right hand couldn't hold on to things. Her right hand then recovered, but she then had left arm and leg numbness and weakness that has persisted since then. She came to the emergency department. She's got uh, uh, labs all sent off. Her coags are normal. She went and got a head CT, which has been sent to you. Can you close your eyes and then open them? Good. Can you show me your right thumb, please? Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Feel me touching you here? Yes. Yeah. Alright, did you guys get that? Uh, we did. We just wanted to confirm. It seems like the sensation was a little bit diminished on the left side. Is that correct? That's correct. She had decreased sensation on the left uh, leg, left arm, and left side of her face. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Can you hold out a finger for her as a target, uh, Dr. Goldstein? And then, uh, ma'am, can you uh, reach out and touch his finger with your fingertip? Good. And touch your nose. And, yep, and go back and forth. And can you move your hand to the left a bit, Dr. Goldstein, so we can see better? Perfect. Excellent. Okay, great. Okay, Dr. Goldstein, we're going to uh, take a quick look right now at her CAT scan, and we'll get back to you in one second, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, so I don't see any evidence of a large territory stroke. Their posterior right. circulation looks reasonable. Right. Um, so the CT scan of the brain uh, looks like there might be a small stroke starting, but nothing that would prevent us from giving um, one of those clot buster medications. Dr. Silverman's going to explain a little bit to you, ma'am, about what we're recommending, and then uh, we'll uh, proceed with some orders. Okay. So it sounds like they're recommending this uh, clot busting medication. We'll go ahead and give that to you here. Nurse, could you please draw up a TPA per our protocol? for her. Um, while she arranges that, we'll go ahead and give this medicine to you right here. Hopefully it'll dissolve the clot and start getting you a good blood flow to your brain. Everybody we give this medicine to uh, needs to be admitted to an intensive care unit and usually we transfer folks to a specialized center uh, to do this. So um, I'm going to ask uh, the folks over here at the Telestroke Center if they're available to uh, accept you and transfer. Um, are you guys able to accommodate, uh, accommodate this lady at your hospital? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we definitely. have an ICU bed waiting for her. Perfect. Should I transfer her to the emergency department or to the ICU? Uh, preferably to the emergency department. That way we can obtain any uh, follow-up imaging at that time. All right. Sounds very good. I'll call uh, Boston MedFlight and I'll call the emergency department over there. 